A pretty interesting evolution of steam electrolysis is the concept of using similar device and similar concept, but not to, for the decomposition of water or steam, but for the decomposition of carbon dioxide or, in some configuration, of the combined decomposition of steam and carbon dioxide. So when we speak about CO electrolysis, we, um, have, we can start the concept of um, the electrolysis of steam. So we have water plus electrical current that is decomposed into hydrogen and oxygen and with a, a enthalpy required of 240.42 kilojoule for uh, mole. But we can also consider it with a similar process and similar device the decomposition of carbon dioxide into carbon monoxide and oxygen with uh, in standard condition of a higher uh, amount of energy required. But why it's interesting? Because in both processes, we can store energy, maybe renewable energy, electrical energy, into chemicals. In the first case, chemical energy is the one of hydrogen. In the second case, is the one of carbon monoxide. That is, anyway, a fuel, a pretty more complex, a difficult fuel, but can have a very interesting application. So at level of um, um, uh, component, the process uh, is more or less the same. So we have an electrochemical reactor that is fed, in this case, with carbon dioxide. And uh, as an output of the electrolyzers, we have oxygen in one side and, or, and in the full side, a combination of carbon monoxide and some, of course, carbon dioxide that has not reacted inside the device. Uh, if we also consider the uh, reaction of both hydrogen, steam, sorry, and carbon dioxide, we can have a combination of uh, steam electrolysis, uh, electrolysis with the reaction uh, written in the, in, in the board, uh, carbon dioxide that is decomposed into carbon monoxide and oxygen. And if we consider the devices that uh, host both reaction, of course, we have local condition, thermochemical condition in terms of temperature and especially of uh, uh, catalyst for the reaction that enhances another reaction that uh, is water gas shift. This reaction is somehow in equilibrium, in a chemical equilibrium, but it's interesting because it involves product and reactant of both uh, reactions. So um, if we consider a sort of black box, when we have a, a CO electrolyzer, we feed with um, carbon uh, uh, dioxide, with steam, and then what happened is not only electrochemical, but also chemical reactions. So this is a, an overall scheme, more or less. So we fit the reactor with both steam and carbon dioxide. We have on the one side uh, ox oxygen that is separated via the electrochemical reaction. But in the full side, we may have a mix of four different um, chemicals. So we can have carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, hydrogen, and steam. And the combination of this uh, is a mix of equilibrium, so electrochemical equilibrium involving the electrochemical reaction, so the carbon dioxide the electro, uh, decomposition and the steam electrolysis, but also of chemical reaction, in particular uh, water gas shift, that uh, can balance the reaction and uh, create a new equilibrium. What we get is a, f is a new fuel that is not carbon dioxide and it's not hydrogen, but it's a mixture of four, uh, of four um, elements and that we usually call it singas. Singas is pretty interesting because it uh, can be used in several processes, in particular chemical processes, uh, both for chemical application, but in some case and in recent development, especially for full application. We'll um, show it later on. Of course, uh, in this case, it's again a solution to store uh, electricity, so power from the external into the electrochemical device. From the thermodynamic point of view, as uh, we can see that uh, the um, enthalpy variation required for carbon dioxide, so the amount of energy is higher composed to hydrogen decomposition, uh, so, 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 pardon, from steam decomposition, so the enthalpy of, of uh, the reaction is higher compared to, uh, to steam. But at, if we go into the Gibbs reaction, that is the one that's interesting for the amount of energy of work required from the reaction, we see that the two, um, um, uh, two lines tends to collapse 
uh, in the um, 700, 800 degrees Celsius, that is usually the operating temperature of these devices. It means that we can have both reaction occurring with the same amount of uh, work required uh, in the frame of the operating temperature of uh, uh, high temperature electrolyzers. Of course, we can um, move the same study considering the reversible uh, voltage and the term neutral as we did for uh, simple uh, steam electrolysis. And so we can have again a reversible um, um, voltage higher for carbon dioxide decomposition compared to steam electrolysis. But at the same time, uh, the term neutral condition, they tends to collapse and to go close to a value close to one volt in the frame of 700, 800 degrees. Celsius. So it means that in this frame of operating condition, we can decompose at the same time both hydrogen and carbon dioxide. So we will have inside the reactor a so-called CO electrolysis that is more uh, indicating in both that it uh, happens involving carbon monoxide, but it's also a um, competitive and uh, a collaborating uh, decomposition electrolysis. So if we look to overall system, the um, point is that we can have uh, a renewable energy from the external uh, and uh, a primary source entering the electrolyzers that is uh, uh, carbon dioxide and water uh, that can be, of course, then become steams inside the high temperature electrolyzers. But then what we can produce is steam and in the um, aim of uh, energy storage purpose, uh, we can use these singles to uh, feed a full synthesis reactor, ba mainly based in several reaction uh, maintenance or generally called fissure drops. And we uh, can produce several amount of fuels that can be used uh, in both in and in traditional systems. So we can have gas production, uh, liquid production, so we can produce gas in terms of, uh, for example, methane that can be produced in a full synthesis reactor, liquid, uh, gasoline as well, and solid uh, wax. In some cases, in the recent development, what is, could be interesting is to variate the thermochemical um, operating condition, thermodynamic operating condition of the electrochemical reactor. So if we feed the reactor with steam and carbon dioxide, we can also force for the production of direct of methane. This is extremely interesting, but usually requires the operating of the electrolyzers at high pressure, and this is still a challenge for high temperature electrolyzers. But if we can push up the pressure, then what happens in the reactor is that we don't have only uh, steam and CO electrolysis plus water gas shift, but we can have also additional reaction that uh, push for the direct production of methane. And this is a pretty interesting development for the technology that allows us to directly uh, produce um, methane starting from power. Uh, finalizing what is important about CO electrolysis is that of course, we produce singles, and this is something interesting because uh, it's a sort of uh, additional option compared to the only production of hydrogen and opens to new development and new applications. And a high amount of energy can be stored since carbon monoxide increases the enthalpy uh, reference uh, with the same amount of heat. So we can have a higher amount of energy stored uh, with the same uh, inlet amount of work. CO2 source is required. That could be a positive or negative aspect. For sure, uh, it's an additional requirement from the system, so we have to face a problem of finding and the CO2. But at the same time, we know that CO2 may come from a separation process, so we may find a second life force, carbon dioxide, that can be transformed again into a fuel and closing the loop of carbon dioxide. So this could be is a problem in, in one aspect because uh, it's a complexity and we need to find it. Uh, but at the same time, if we have carbon dioxide uh, from a separated process, then we can store it and convert it into fuel. Of course, uh, the syngas itself is very difficult to be used as a fuel, so uh, what is a for sure a negative aspect is that we need an additional part of process, uh, usually a syngas um, uh, to fuel a reactor, so that increases the complexity and it requires an additional element for completing the energy storage process. Thank you.